guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this pink festival look i'm so sorry it took me a while to kind of get this look up but i hope you guys enjoy it anyway i'm going to start off by priming my eyes using the makeup evolution concealer in the shade c12 then i'm going into the zulu palette by juvia's place and with the pink shade i'm going to start blending that into my crease Then I'm gonna go into the orange shade and a little bit of the yellow and start blending out the edges of that pink color. I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush just to make sure that the color doesn't go like too far out. I'm gonna use the orange shade first and use that to blend out the edges and then go over the orange using a little bit of yellow to blend that out. Then I'm gonna go into the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. This is the second one. And I'm taking the shade, it's like the burgundy type of color, and I'm placing that directly onto the crease to start defining it and getting that crease a little bit darker and more smoky. Then I'm gonna go back in with the pink color from the Zulu palette and just blend out any harsh lines. I'm not cutting my crease today, but I am using the Makeup Revolution Concealer just to create a cleaner lid space and to make sure that the eyeshadows that I do place on the lid kind of pops a little bit more. So I'm just using a flat brush just to tap in a little bit of concealer and then another brush just to blend out like all the edges just to make sure it's not like harsh or anything like that. Next, I'm going in with the shade Nomad from the palette, and I'm going to place this onto the lid. Then I'm going back in with that shade Zora, which is the deep burgundy color I placed on the crease, and go over the edges just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and the color is really diffused. So now it's time for our pigment. I'm super excited to use this pigment. Um, Peaches Makeup sent this to me to try. So this is their pigment in the shade Mademoiselle. And I use a little bit of my NYX glitter primer to apply the pigment on first. This color is so pretty. It's described as like a cherry red glitter and it's super pigmented too. So you don't even need like a base eyeshadow to like make the, sh the color pop. But I feel like this color went perfect with this eye look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my skin. I use a little bit of the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray just to kind of hydrate my skin a little bit. Then I'm gonna use the Jouer Anti-Aging Moisture Primer to prep my skin for foundation. I've been loving this combination of the Maybelline Super Stay and my Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. So I'm mixing those two together to get my like perfect shade and everything. The coverage and like the staying power for this combination is also really good too. So that's one of the reasons why I like to mix it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with a brush just to make sure I get that coverage and then blend everything over using my Makeup Addiction Sponge. So now it's time for concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Makeup Revolution concealer again. I use the shade C12 for this step, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all the areas that I typically do. So under the eyes, a little bit of the forehead, on the sides of my mouth, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin. And again, I'm blending everything out with a brush and then going back over it using my sponge just to make sure it's a nice, like, smooth finish. Now it's time to set everything using some powder. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. This has become my favorite right now. And I'm just using a small amount of this just to set my concealer. I don't like to bake my under eyes or my concealer or anything because it's just a little too much for me. This powder is really good anyway, so a little bit of this goes a really long way.
Then I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring using my Anastasia powder contouring kit. This one is in the shade Tan to Deep and I'm using a mixture of two of the colors in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use tapping motions to contour the forehead and cheekbones. So I'm gonna go back to the eyes for a minute and just finish up like the lower lash line and lashes and everything. I'm using the orange shade first to smoke out the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into that burgundy shade from the Saharan 2 palette, then back into the pink shade just to blend those two colors together. For my lashes, I'm using a mixture of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer as usual on my lower lashes. And while it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara onto the top lashes. I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara in Very Black. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that before I put on my falsies. So now that my mascara is on, I can go ahead and start applying my lashes. Peaches and Cream Makeup also sent me some false lashes to try, so I'm using the style number eight today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply those, then add a little bit of um, that green metallic eyeshadow from the Sahara and Two palette onto the inner corners for a little pop of color, then we're moving on to brows. For my eyebrows, I use the Benefit Cabrow Cream Gel. I haven't used this in a while. I've been really like sticking to my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, but I kind of wanted to try something different for today. So same technique as I always do, just more of like a natural, just kind of filling in the areas that need it, not so much like sculpting the brow too much. Then after that, I'm using the Joy Cosmetics Strobe Drops in the shade Peach. I've been really liking like liquid illuminators. I feel like they're so cool to use like underneath like your powder highlighter. It just does something to like your powder highlighter. It just makes it like so much more intense and I love it. So I've been really liking these drops just to apply onto like all the places I would have typically highlight. And then for my powder highlighter, I'm using the Shuei one in the shade Skinny Dip. So before I show you guys how I put on my face jewels, I wanted to let you guys know that I had done my lips prior to putting them on and I ended up changing like the combination that I did for my lips. So you're gonna kind of see like the footage kind of skip a little bit. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know in case there was some any confusion about like, you know, what happens there. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how I placed my Gypsy Shrine face jewels. This is the iridescent candy kiss style, I believe. I'm just gonna go ahead and place these on. I ended up having to cut the um, upper brow piece into three little pieces because it was just way too arch for my brow shape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place the under eye ones. For the centerpiece, I use the Gypsy Shrine Mix and Match set and I use a few of the, the smaller ones and a larger jewel just for the center. So now that that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did for my lips. I did use my Shuei lip liner in the shade Espresso, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with that. Then I use the Jouer Lip Cream in the shade Noisette. I've been really liking blending my lip colors in with a brush. So I use like a, a synthetic fluffy brush to blend out my lipstick.
Then to top it all off, I use the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in the shade Cleopatra. And that is pretty much it for this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah. <laughs>